It's all stop signs. It's all lines that shouldn't be crossed. It's all interpretations that have been lost in translation. Even when the meaning is embossed on something that redefines stop signs. Something that erases and redraws lines for all the times curiosity gets the better of us. But until it gets the best, we test the lines. Until it gets the best, it's all stop signs. And then there's you. I want to kiss you so bad, I'd be willing to cut off my own head and just throw it towards your lips. <laughs> And you'd be well within your rights to just swarm it to the pool. <laughs> but I'd redefine hardcore lying that just tips your toes because God knows I'd be trying to figure out some way to roll towards them. And maybe that's crossing the line. <laughs> maybe that's a little creepy. <laughs> but did I mention that I like you? <laughs> and if I knew you better than I do, then I'd probably know that creep isn't the way to go. So how's this? I want to kiss you like a traffic jam. I want to move slow. I want to stop and go like I know at least I'm moving towards you. And there's no use weaving through the great gridlock because every clock keeps poly ticking and talking, telling me there's time for all the amazing in between that's been seen and hurting me toward the past between us like someone with somewhere to go. And I know I hardly know you, so let's go slow. Like a turtle with a purpose. <laughs> let's not miss a single minute. Because every 60 seconds contained within it are the 200 times I've tried to coax each smile to bloom into a laugh. And the exact science of math can't begin to calculate half the time it would take to make misery turn itself into a punchline. One that was willing to mine past silver and gold, just looking for something to tell you that's never been told. I want to hold you like mine with the last arms in the world. I want them curled around you like the red and white stripes on a barter pole. I want to give you a lump of coal for Christmas and tell you in a million years. It's gonna be a diamond. <laughs> and will you wait for me till then? Because that's when I'll be evolved enough to melt all the other brains of men on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe I've got a shot if all the remains are two gazelles on the Serengeti Plains and me. Of course, if you're willing to make sweet, sweet love with animals, I'll totally understand. <laughs> I'm good like that. I'll band together with whatever vegetation is left living. Me, three weeds, and a rubber plant will spend Thanksgiving saying how grateful we are that you're happy. <laughs> but it'll be real. I want you to feel like the banana peel under Charlie Chaplin's shoe. Because it's you that brings the house of this heart down. It's you that's a chamber of commerce in a town that's got nothing to offer but everything everyone can't find everywhere else under the sun. I'm done with all of the every that. I'm thinking about where it is I'm going, I'm figuring out where it is I'm at. And that it's got to be beside the one who will stop me from trying to calculate the sum total of someone as if this biological calculus has ever done anything for me. Other than be the something that keeps me seeking to solve problems that don't exist. Like a SWAT team sharpshooter with cataracts, I've missed the point more times than certain Americans have been elected to the Oval Office. Which is always once too often. <laughs> Let's face it, sometimes two times too many. Yeah. But this time I'm willing to pay interest on the penny for your thoughts. Mortgage my mind, finance an expedition that will find me a better way to get to know you because I've read through the short story of my life and found that your name stands out on the page. Your slightest look unlocks the tumblers on my ribcage and you can gauge my sincerity when I lift my heart towards you and tell you in a million years. It'll be less than dust. The slightest gust will blow it away, but you'll have to listen to wind chimes say that you're still worth waiting for. Don't tell me you're not beautiful. You're the kind of beautiful the blind would see if we could figure out some way to give them three seconds of sight. When you tell me you're not gorgeous, want to pop out your left eye and show it to your right. <laughs> Yay! And that might be going too far. <laughs> but you are worth crossing whatever distance it would take or building the bridges to make a connection. Because I've been secretly stealing stop signs, repainting traffic lines so that I can only go one way. Because as far as I can tell, dedication is the better part of foreplay. And I admit it, I'm committed. Everything I've done, I did it to make you smile. Because it's been the largest part of a long while since I had someone do that for me. You feel like comedy after three years of being on the bandwagon of calamity. And I can't be bothered with this tragedy when I'm trying to get to know you. I've been through enough wretchedness to know that some flowers can still grow through the garbage and you make me want to take up gardening. Because I've seen sadness strangle the spirit out of this history. But if the worst is yet to come, anyone who took the time to know me knows that don't run. Partly because I'm not athletic, but mostly because that's life. And I've met it head on. I've gone the distance more times than George Lucas has looked at Jar Jar Binks and thought, fuck. <laughs> Until I've been 
the bill, I will still fill my days trying because I'm yours from the bottom to the top. And I'm not just saying I'll be here for you. I'm saying I'll never stop. <laughs>